Hi, I'm Sean Kaufman. and alongside me is Jackson Kruger and William Bosick, um, NFL on SBC. Now, today, supplemental draft. Uh, who, do you guys think that this draft can benefit NFL teams and get players? I mean, it's a gamble, but do you think the gamble's worth it? Uh, no one's going to get a big superstar, but I think teams could definitely, definitely come out as winners from it. What is your take on this? I completely agree with Jackson. Um, Giants picked up a good corner last year. Sam Beal, I believe, in the supplementary draft. He did get hurt. Yeah, that, that was a tough one, but... Um, uh, I, I think that it can be beneficial to some teams, you know, while, um, while they're probably not, you know, big names that, um, that everyone's going to know about, I think they can make uh, sizable impacts. Yeah, Chris Carter was a talent from the supplementary draft. And he ended back up in the he, 80s. He's one of the biggest that came from this. All right. Now, who are your Super Bowl favorites for this year? We'll start off with you, Jax. Uh, I think the, Chief, uh, the Super Bowl is going to be the Chiefs on the AFC and the Saints in the NFC. With the battle of the quarterbacks and Breeze and Mahomes, and I think the Chiefs are going to come out on top. I think it should have been Chiefs and Saints this year, but um, I think it'll be Chiefs Saints. I, I got Chiefs on top, but I think it'll be close all game. I think Mahomes, now that he has another year starting under his belt, will be just as good as last year and maybe a reigning MVP. What's your take on this, Will? Um, I, I think it's a little early to make a Super Bowl prediction, but um, you know, I mean, barring any injuries. Uh, those two, Drew Brees and Pat Mahomes, are, are, are special, and you know they'll they'll do it. They'll continue to do what they've been doing, um, you know, for for their team. So I would not be surprised at all if that were a Super Bowl. And, you know, those those two are going to shine out. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Mahomes was the MVP again. But um, I really do like the Chiefs. Um, I like what they bring, and um, Mahomes just has a, a perfect offense around him. It fits him so well, and really just love what he's been able to do. Who are your guys' super picks for this year? Who do you think is going to come out of nowhere and uh, maybe make the playoffs? That what weren't teams? so good last year. What teams? Yes, what teams? Um, maybe the Browns. The Browns were in the playoffs last year. I, I do think they're overhyped, but I think they have a chance of making a wild card. And it's just one game. It's not a series like the NBA. So in that one game, I do think that they can maybe upset some teams and make a run in it. What's your take on this one? Well, I'm gonna say the New York Giants, um, hmm. uh, because if if you saw some of their stats last year, the Giants actually were better off in games where Odell Beckham Jr. and Landon Collins were not playing. Landon Collins just did not have a good year last year. I think that he's tremendously overrated. Um, I think that the the, the trade for uh, of Odell Beckham Jr. was a horrendous move by Dave Gettleman, but you know now Giants fans have to work with it. So um, I think that. Uh, Picking up Jabril Peppers, about an average safety, I think, was a pretty good pickup. And, um, you know, we'll see what that offense is able to do with Golden Tate and Sterling Shepard, Evan Ingram, all with big roles now. Okay, very interesting take. Um, I don't think they should have taken Daniel Jones that high, maybe 17, but... All right, speaking of Daniel Jones, who do you think... I mean, we've had a very talented draft class this year, obviously, with the likes of Kyle Murray, Quentin Williams... Bosa, Joey Bosa's brother, who's had a very successful career. Dwayne Haskins. Um, who do you think is going to be the rookie of the year this year? I'll start with you, Jackson. Uh, I think Kyler Murray's going to show out. Um, is I there any reason? He's got the talent and he's got the athleticism, and I think because he plays two sports, he's he's humble and he knows that going into it, he's going to have to work hard. And I, I think he's that number one pick's going to fuel him. You think his height's going to be a problem. Uh, Baker Mayfield pro proved that that was not a problem for him, and I think he's going to do the same. All right, what do you think, Jackson? Um, I'm definitely going to go with uh, Quentin Williams for the Jets. Uh, a tremendous defensive talent, uh, tremendous athleticism, and um, I really just, he's so versatile. I just love what he's able to do on the defensive end for them, and that's just going to add to a very talented Jets defense that I think um, has the potential to make the playoffs. So I'll go with him, but uh, Kyle Murray, uh, definitely probably the favorite. All right, uh, you heard it here first from William Posick and Jackson Kruger. I'm Sheldon Kaufman signing off.